Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm showing you the process of a recent illustration I just finished based on Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking to make a custom website, online store, and to get your own domain, you should check out Squarespace. They're offering a free trial and 10% off your first purchase by clicking the link below. I'll talk more about that later on though. So this drawing was based on Kiki's delivery service, but I was also trying to do a new version of my Sailor Moon drawing. I think it was back in 2014, so about four years ago, I did a drawing of Sailor Moon just laying in her bed, playing video games, surrounded by all of her favorite things. Of course, food, donuts, her backpack with her poorly written essays, and a whole bunch of other things that really reminded me of Sailor Moon. I have so much fun drawing room drawings, I guess you'd call them, or like a day in the life of certain characters. Pretty much just super detailed drawings of a character in their space. A kind of drawing where the surrounding tells you more about the character than the actual character does. I've been trying to do one of Kiki for a long time, at least two years now. I've drawn it a couple times and it never really worked out and I finally decided to sit down and make it happen. <laughs> So I started the first drawing a couple months ago and I did the whole thing in Procreate on my iPad Pro. This is the 12.9 inch. I used an Apple Pencil and that's about it. I can't really tell you how long the drawing took because I did it over like the span of a couple weeks, but it was at least a couple hours. So I wanted to draw Kiki kind of later on in her life, maybe as a older teenager who's collected a couple of trinkets throughout her years. At first I was thinking that like she wouldn't have much in her room because of how her apartment was when she was in the movie, but if I remember correctly, I think in the movie she was actually looking at something in a store window. I forgot what it was. Was it a dress or shoes maybe? Anyway, the fact that she was doing that makes me think that maybe over time as she gets more successful with her delivery business and as a witch, she'd collect more nice things, like things she could appreciate, and also trinkets and souvenirs of memories across the years, memories of her friends and her family, and kind of display them around her room. She'd of course have a lot of plants, because looking at her mother's house, I'm pretty sure she would inherit a green thumb as well. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. I think to me personally, I think she would end up as a collector of things and other people think that she'd be more of a minimalist and non-materialistic, but I mean, you can see it however you want. <laughs> anyway, I had a lot of fun drawing all the details for this piece. I get a lot of questions from people asking how I come up with so many details and things to fill the room with. I'm really drawing from life and from things that I appreciate um, aesthetically, I guess. So a lot of the jars and like the terrariums and stuff like that are based on things that I actually own or things that I've been wanting to get a hold of myself. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a way of instead of spending money on things, I can just draw them and kind of have them in my possession that way. <laughs> But I love creating spaces and rooms that are decorated and full of personality. So most of it's from memory. Sometimes I look at Pinterest where I save pictures of workspaces and homes and living rooms. I also kind of imagine myself to be the character and think of like the kind of things from the movie that she's saved or from her friendships. So if you look above her bed, there's actually photos of her and Tombo and even a letter that he's written her, and a little blimp as well. <laughs> There's also the radio and a couple other things from the movie. I try thinking of what she would be studying, maybe in her career direction as a witch, or maybe things that her parents have given her, like books or inherited things like that. Really, it's just fun to use your imagination and to create more of a personality around a character that you've been given, or even your own characters. It's so much fun. <laughs> Just follow every move Touch me Let me know you want it to Don't have what you need
this drawing is available in my store now as a couple of different size prints. There are a few limited edition prints left that are larger and then there's regular size and 5x7 and I'm also going to have some glossy prints available soon so if you want to check those out there is a link down below. I wanted to talk a little bit more about Squarespace. First of all I really want to thank them for sponsoring so many videos of mine. It's really thanks to them that I'm able to post recently. I've been crazy busy with my store. We finally caught up on our orders. We're fully moving into the studio. We're moving to an apartment next week. And I'm actually preparing to table at Silicon Valley Comic Con in a couple weeks, so I'll post more about that on Instagram. But we are so busy and I haven't been finding much time to post on YouTube lately. I really want to. This is one of my favorite things to do is create videos for you guys and show you what's going on but it's really hard to find the time and thanks to Squarespace sponsoring these videos I can get these out to you and update you on what's going on. So if you don't know what Squarespace is, it is a website platform for you to build your own website, create your own domain, or even have an online store. It's all super easy to use, it's the most user-friendly website creation platform I've ever used. I use it for my website and I've been using it for years and I absolutely love it. I'm not just saying that either, like I've been a fan of them for a while now and I was so excited to be sponsored by them. Their templates are really beautiful and super easy to just plug your information in and have a beautiful website right away. So if you guys want to try it out, you can go to their website and they have a free trial. You can make your own website, put your artwork up there or whatever you need and see how it looks. If you like it, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline and get 10% off your first purchase. So check it out. And if you like this drawing, remember there's prints available in my shop. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!